Located in the Flathead Valley of Northwest Montana, the city of Whitefish has undergone significant growth. While its recreational activities and proximity to Glacier National Park make it a popular year-round tourist destination, the city has also seen a population boom over the past few years. This increase of residents and visitors put an even greater strain on the existing lagoon-style treatment plant that had already exceeded its design life. In an effort to meet current and future growth, the city of Whitefish embarked on a search for a new facility, one that could not only support increased flow rates well into the future, but would also meet stricter nutrient standards imposed by Montana's Department of Environmental Quality. The city of Whitefish has always been very, very environmentally proactive in terms of wastewater treatment and the facility discharges to the Whitefish River and ultimately to Flathead Lake. And these waters are some of the state's most treasured resources. So something that provided consistent water quality, predictable treatment, and was environmentally conscious and something that they could feel good about environmentally were very, very important to the city. Working with an outside design team, the city evaluated various technologies, including conventional activated sludge, lagoon treatment, and aerobic granular sludge. The city of Whitefish prioritized a treatment solution that checked all the boxes from water quality and cost considerations to space savings and environmental impact. They selected the Aqua Narita aerobic granular sludge system to meet those requirements and serve the community. There were not a lot of plants operating in the United States that we could draw information from. So we actually set up weekly meetings with the Aqua Narita team and we went over all facets of the design and we were really able to hone in what was expected from our standpoint in terms of design. When we were considering what type of technology to use for our wastewater treatment plant upgrade, Aqua Naredo was selected because it was a lower energy facility and so that reduced costs for our rate payers. It also is a smaller footprint which allowed for a lower construction cost related to concrete and I believe it allows a better use of public lands for more efficiency. And treating a large volume of wastewater in a small footprint was very important because of the soils here at the facility. They are very poor in terms of bearing capacity. We needed very expensive ground improvements below every structure that was going to be completed out here. Although a significant investment in infrastructure was required, the city knew they would achieve energy efficiency and other cost savings in the long term. These costs were partially offset by generous grants and rebates. Yeah, the city worked with uh, our local electric provider, Flathead Electric, on a program, a rebate, uh, through their Energy Smart Industrial Program. Uh, we looked at uh, a baseline technology, which was a traditional SBR, and compared that to the Aqua Narita system that was chosen. Uh, by choosing the Aqua Narita system, we save about 570,000 kilowatts per year. Uh, that translates to over $30,000 in annual energy savings and netted about a $200,000 rebate from Flathead Electric. The Aqua Narita system in Whitefish is now one of many that are currently operational or under construction in North America. Since going online in early 2023, the results have exceeded expectations in process flexibility, effluent quality, and overall plant efficiency. It's very flexible. We have numerous amounts of ways to change parameters and things to get the best effluent quality that we want. So it's pumped up from the river. It comes into a grit removal we have. Um, grit paddle drive drives the grit to the bottom and then it pulls the grit out of our influent water. And then the influent goes into a splitter box where we have all of our influent valves tied into that one box. And then when a reactor's calling for it for feed influent, it will open a valve and feed into our reactors into the bottom. And then as we feed, it also decants into the river. The clean water's on top, the new water's in the bottom. After it's done that, it'll aerate and it'll go through denitrification loops, aerate it, let the granules do their work, take up all the phosphorus, ammonia, and then um, it'll settle. We'll discharge the sludge that won't settle real good and then we're back to square one where we fill it up again and the effluent goes over, goes down in through the UV trough for disinfection and then out to the river. The granular activated sludge we found out is very robust. We're just able to handle a lot more different kinds of water coming into with the low nutrients one day, high nutrients the next day. And so the, the Aqua Narita plant is doing great for us.
Since the Aqua Narita system went online about three years ago, uh, we've been meeting our permit requirements and haven't had any issue dealing with the cold weather ammonia removal that we struggled with previously. Effluent limits for our permit are BOD is 30, TSS is 30, phosphorus is less than one, um, and ammonia is a 9.6. Total nitrogen is a pounds per day is what we go off of. That changes summer and winter for nitrogen. It's 176 pounds per day in the summer and our effluent is meeting all of those limits easy. Our ammonia is at one to three, um, BOD and TSS are about seven to five, and then phosphorus has been at 0.6 lately. So the Aquanuria plant's been doing fantastic for us, creating the best water we can. Looking to the future, the Aqua Narita system will have a positive impact on the city of Whitefish from a social, environmental, and economic standpoint. In recognition, the project received the 2025 Engineering Excellence Waste and Stormwater Honor Award from the American Council of Engineering Companies of Montana. This award underlines the value this project will provide to other municipalities as they assess their own wastewater treatment issues. I'm very confident that the City of Whitefish made the right selection with Aqua Narita. The staff at Aqua were amazing to work with during the design, uh, completely supported us once we went online and have been with us ever since. The progressive technology, it's been very successful at meeting our permit requirements. It's been extremely cost effective, both in energy consumption and the footprint of the structure.